Hello beautiful souls and welcome to Karuna Yoga. My name is Veronica and in today's video I have eight dynamic movements, yoga movements for you that you can strengthen your legs with. <laughs> so if you're ready for the challenge without further ado jump on your mat and let's get this video started. So eight dynamic movements. We will start with our horse pose. Of course, we will add some breath to the movement. Um, but first, let's take your feet wider, much wider than hip distance apart. The toes are turned out 45 degrees. Engage your core throughout the whole movement. So suck that lower thumb in, lift the pelvis. When we inhale, we will take the arms up and bend the knees. The knees are not passing further than the ankles and the shoulders are moving away from the ears. And when we exhale, we will bring the arms down and just meet down with the palms. Inhale, raising. And exhale, descending with the arms. Two. Inhale, up. Exhale, arms down, three, inhale, up, exhale, down, four, inhale, up. Also make sure that your knees are squeezing back towards the back of the mat or the back of the room. <laughs> exhale, down, just three more times, really engage that core. Exhale, down, twice more, pressing those feet evenly so you're not collapsing in the arches of the feet either. And just one last time, stretch out like a star, and then exhale, come back down, and then just heel to your feet until they are hip distance apart. We will start working with our calves. So you can place your hands on your waist. And when you inhale, lift, press into the balls of the feet and lift the heels away from the floor. Exhale, come back and drop back a little bit. Two. Move back. Three, lift. Engage the core the whole time. That will help you with the balance as well. Four. And really squeeze the calves together. Five. Six. Ooh, balance. Seven. And just one last time. When we do these movements slowly, you really gain more strength. Whew, there we go. And just shake the feet out. And then take your feet even wider than before. We will do some side lunges. So the right toes are slightly turned out. And then we will inhale in the center. Exhale, lunge to the right side. So make sure that that knee stops above the ankle. Inhale, turn the right toes in, left toes out. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, we will change size dynamically. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Essentially, these are our warrior feet. Exhale. This is the third one. Really press into both feet evenly. So even when I'm lunging to the left, I'm pressing into the right foot. This is the fifth round, I believe. And open from the hips. This is the sixth round. My feet are generally getting wider apart. 
seventh round. Really suck that thumb in. Our core should be engaged at all times. And then the last time. Nice. And then you can heel toe to feet closer together. <sighs> nice. We will start with our leg lift. So essentially this is a movement from our Uthita Hasta Parangustasana. But we will just take <laughs> the leg hold bit. So come into your Samastihiti, equal standing, so the feet um, are together, the big toes are touching. Again, make sure that you're lifting the pelvis and engaging the core. And we will start raising the right knee to come in the same um, level with the right hip. And then we will extend that leg. Ooh, it's hard to find this here. And then we will lower it down. We have eight of these movements. So inhale. And then slowly, slowly with control, lower. It really should work the quads and the core. And that extended leg is of course working real crazy. That's number four. Ooh, number five. I kind of rushed through that. Number six. Make sure that you stop for a moment when your leg is extended. Number seven. <laughs> Did you see? My feet were snaking. And then the one last time, <sighs> number eight. Wow. <laughs> I really feel it in the left side as well, especially your glute, because you need to support uh, that uh, core area and the hips. But we will go on the other side. So let me move this. Inhale, the left knee comes to level. And exhale, down. Inhale, extend, exhale, down. That's three, that's four. It really nicely works the groin area as well. That's five. seven and eight Ooh, don't lose the balance Ooh. and lower the leg shake it out if you need to we will work with our um, pigeon curls so if we come all the way down into our tabletop. Now, I really like this exercise because it helps me actively stretch the quads. So, come into your pigeon um, on the right side. So, the right knee comes to the right wrist and the right heel can come all the way to the left groin area. And make sure that you're extending the left leg straight behind you and that your knee is on the floor. Now you may need to come all the way down here if your quads are um, super tight or if you want to work harder come all the way here but make sure that you're engaging the core and that you don't have any pain in your lower back. Now we just start curling the left heel back towards the left glute. One. If you have knee pain you can roll up the mat or put a cushion underneath that left knee. Squeeze it in as much as you can. Two. This is an active stretch on the quads and hip flexors on the left side, but also strengthening your hamstrings. Three. Four. Halfway there. 
five, squeeze it, six, seven, and eight. Last time, squeeze it as much as you can. Give it your best, your very, very best. Okay, and come all the way down, and we'll just change sides. So now the left knee comes to the left wrist, and then left heel is in the groin area, the right, next to the right groin. And then we will make sure that that right knee is facing down, and then start squeezing in. My right quads are so much tighter, so this exercise is really hard for me on this side. But again, you can come down if, you, if your quads are so tight, but I'm gonna take the challenge. <laughs> that was three, four, five, six, seven, woohoo, and eight. Squeeze it in, squeeze, 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 and then let it go, roll out, and come all the way onto your back. You can hug your knees into the chest for a moment just to do a gentle counter stretch. And I think I will turn on the mat just so you can uh, see the movement even more, but we will start working with the inner thighs. So come all the way onto your back into semi-supine position. I hope you can see me. <laughs> and then bring your legs up into fountain pose so your legs are now closed and the heels are above the knees and the knees are above the hips. And we will just open out to the side with the legs. And then when we exhale, we close. S sucking the lower belly in and pressing the lower back into the floor, just to make sure that our spine is protected and we are not collapsing in the lower back. This is three. And as well as taking the feet away from each other, pull, make sure that you have this sensation of pulling and reaching out with them. So it's not only moving down, but they are kind of lengthening out to the side. I believe that was five. Six. Seven. And eight. Excellent. You can hug your knees into the chest. Ooh, I'm gonna turn back on the mat. Uh, maybe half my head was missing, <laughs> uh, but never mind. Okay, just circle the knees a little bit to uh, loosen the muscles. Just a little bit of a counter movement here. Circle them the other way. All right, and we will come all the way into our tabletop position. This is movement seven. It's quite a challenging one. So if you find that it's difficult for you, you can, you're more than welcome to do it with bent knees. But from our tabletop, we will take the right leg out to the side. The left knee is underneath the left hip. And we will start lifting that leg up, hopefully uh, all the way to come into parallel with the floor. It's not just uh, moving our outside thighs, but the glutes as well, so you will feel that. But make sure that at all times, what are you doing? You're sucking the lower belly in and you're supporting the spine. All right, let's do eight times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Two. 
three, four, halfway there, five, six, seven, and just one last time, eight, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then lower it to the floor and bring that right knee back to meet the left. Ooh. Wiggle your tail like a happy puppy. It's not easy. Nobody said it's gonna be. All right, we will go on the left side. So the left leg is reaching out to the left. Again, you can bend your knees here. Let's go, inhale up. Exhale, down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. seven and just the last one eight yes <laughs> all done woohoo wiggle your tail again just to release and then we will go into our warrior four from here and that is gonna be our last exercise so inhale, stretch that right leg behind you. With your exhalation, bring the right foot between the hands, curling the left toes under. First, we'll come into our low lunge, and then we'll raise up with the upper body, making sure that the hips are squared towards the mat. You can take the hands apart if you wish. But from here, we'll just start dipping down, bringing the arms into cactus arms, and then coming up, okay? Inhale down, exhale up. Down and up, that's three. Suck the lower belly in, till the pelvis up, four. five, just three times more, six, seven, and eight. This is your last one. From here, you can bring the hands back onto the floor, lower the left knee, uncurl the toe, and then bring that right foot back to meet the left. Oh, all right, just eight warrior four dips on the other side. So the left heel goes back, coming between the hands, curling under with the right toes, coming into our low lunge first, and then inhale, come up, and exhale, bending the knee, dipping down, one. Two, three, four, halfway there, five, six, just two more, seven, and eight your last dip <laughs> come all the way up into your warrior four and then coming down with the hands oh you can lower the knees first <laughs> or just step back bring your heels together your knees apart and just resting in swamp pose for a minute <laughs> All right, 
then in your own time come all the way up into your seated position now either this is your workout for the day or if you wish to now release those quads and do some quad stretches then I have another video for you to work with, this qu with the quads to lengthen them and stretch them out or you can just lay down in Shavasana and rest for a few minutes <laughs> definitely to allow the heart rate to settle. So whichever way you go, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and this exercise, these exercises. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And as you know, these videos are free and will always be free. But if you want to support me, then go over to my Patreon page and show me love there too. <laughs> have a lovely, lovely day. Don't forget to breathe, balance and blossom. And I shall see you very soon in the next video. Om Shanti Namaste.